Today, I'm at Abbey Precision in Milton Keynes. This part here previously was made on these machines, but now that's all changed. They're now made on these MX 330s. I'm going to talk to Christian Lloyd behind us here about what he thinks about these machines, about the automation, and how quickly he's now making parts like this. Christian, two MX 330s from Matsura installed here at Abbey Precision just over a year ago. Now we're going to walk around the whole machine and we're going to talk about every aspect. We'll start here with the automation. How much better is it and, and how does all this work here? Can you give us a, a brief insight? Okay, so the, uh, the pallet changes allow us to minimise our loading times. Um, I'll just demonstrate how the, the zero point um, pallet works. lift the pallet off and this will return back into this uh, I think it's got an accuracy of about 10 microns so essentially if you'd machined a part and you wanted to take it to a CMM you could you could literally take the, the pallet off check it and then bring it back in here yeah that's right I can take this pallet off take it into inspection they can check it if there's any problems with the part we can remachine it put it back in there and it'll still be accurate. Uh, just tell me about the, the 10 pallets here then. I mean, would you go home at night having loaded all of these 10 pallets? Is that, is that the purpose here? You spend all your time here as opposed to in the machine because that's cutting? Absolutely, yes, that's right. So all your time is spent proving out your job in the machine and then at the end of the day, make sure all your pallets are loaded up. I can press start, leave the building and it will machine overnight. Okay, now you can access here while the machine's in action as well, can't you? Absolutely, so that, that, yes. So let, let, let's move this way. Um, if you come to, to my uh, right, Christian, and the camera can get into the machine. Now, you're machining aluminium here. Is that the majority of your work? That's correct. Most of the work that we do on this machine is aluminium. Um, and, and it's full five axis. Five axis simultaneous is, is possible on here. That's correct. Yes, that's right. Most of the work that we do is three plus two, but it will do simultaneous machining. Now, some of the options you've got with the machine, I, I noticed there's probing on here as well. What, what, does that, what advantage does that give you? Right, so it's got a laser tool probe, so basically we can uh, accurately set all the tool lengths and then after a tool has done all the work on the, on the job, it will check for tool breakage. So if the tool is broken, the machine will stop. Is there an opportunity to have sister tooling on the machine as well? That's correct, there is, yes. Now, now, what I want to do is, I know it's going to be a tricky one for the camera to get, but here you've got 90 tool stations That's as well. That's correct, yes. So yeah. compared to some of your other machines within the machine shop, you, you, you've got a lot more options there, haven't you? Absolutely. Most of the machines in this workshop have got either 24 or 40 tools. Having 90 tools makes a big difference. It allows us to have common tooling on both machines and uh, that speeds up programming and setting of the machines. And, and how do you find it when, when, you're, when you're actually programming this machine? Is a lot of it done offline? Oh, absolutely. It's all done offline. All you're doing when you come down here is proving the, proving the actual program. And if there's any problems with the program, you'll go away, reprogram, come back and recut the material. Uh, looking at the access to the machine as well, that's important. I know we mentioned earlier you're going to be spending a lot more time around the pallet area. But do you find working within this environment is uh, quite comfortable too? Do you, think that, do you think the Japanese have laid the machine out well, I suppose, as oh, well? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, the, the control is really well laid out. It's easy to use. Uh, you've got the nice touch screen, um, lots of information on there. It's a very intuitive display. And that's on the software, but again, with the hardware, when you do have to go in here and maybe intervene in a machining process, the access is good. Oh, it's very easy access in there, absolutely, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, do, do you also find that the build of the machine uh, means you've got a very stable working environment? If you step this way, Christian, because I want to just walk, walk to where you're producing the, the swarf. Do you find that, that the actual, that the Japanese hand-built method of building machines means you've got a lot of stability when you're machining? Can you feel it? Is it a stiff, oh, is it a stiff construction? Yeah, yeah. So it's a solid machine, very rigid, and you can hit, you can hit it hard with the, with the tools, with good the cutters. Stuff. Okay, let's finally uh, conclude round here because I know engineers love to see every aspect of a machine and how they're laid out. Um, this is where your, your swarf is accessing um, or is, is coming out of the machine. That's correct. Yeah, that's right. Would you say this machine is producing a lot more swarf than some of your others? Uh, absolutely, definitely, yes. Um, so the job that we'll look at over there, this was filling this up overnight. It creates a lot of swarf. 
So you're going home at night now. You're pressing the you're pressing the button, uh, and you're coming in in the morning. Let's just pick one of these up to conclude. Uh, this is the sort of application that produces the swarf in the swarf bin. Before you were doing this in a matter of operations, I assume maybe four or five ops, and now it's this, two. Yes, bits. yes. This would be, this would be five operations potentially. Uh, so we're hitting basically all five sides of this in in one operation. There's a, a preparation op so that we can grip it in the vise, and then everything is done on the machine in one hit. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Christian. Now, the MX330 from Matsura, uh, you'll know by watching our channel that we're visiting a lot of engineering companies that are adopting automation. And this is a perfect automation solution for that unmanned run overnight. Small footprint machine, very agile, a fast five axis machine, four plus one, uh, full five axis, whatever your choice. Uh, have the machine running overnight uh, and keep that spindle turning. That's it from me here at Abbey Precision. Thank <laughs> you.